quadrilaterals and they have the same area. And I don't know how he did it, but Euclid always showed that you can cut and paste one into the other. Notice that the important thing is here that I have a, the vertex of this triangle is moving into on a line that is parallel to the base. So there should be a generic way to cut them up one into the other. And you know, now you know, of course, we can say, oh, we can use the formula, but we can also just cut it up, you know, without you know, with a more basic notion of area where it's just two things of the same area, we can cut it up. Yeah, there's probably a better way to do it without either memorizing a formula or cutting it's it up. It's always a better way to do it than memorizing a formula. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but here you get a lot, by cutting it up, it, it gives you a lot of insight yeah. about how, what's really going on. You kind of think it's fun. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's a, so you can think about it if you feel like it. You can turn them into 10 grams. Yeah, uh, I my first approach would be to do something. I mean, just don't know how I would mm. honestly draw this, but I guess it would be something like I don't know. I mean, I think that here. Yeah, there's definitely a better way to draw it than. Oh, you um, just leave this fixed, but this is this, no? Cool. This is that. I think you just move the top part. So yeah. maybe you just look at the top part and that's another. No, that's a good one. Uh, and this is the same length as this. It's like okay. italicizing seeds. It's like what? Italicizing seeds. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs>